Right, ready? Okay, so you probably want to know how champing was invented in the first place. But even if you don't, I'm going to tell you anyway. Now, it's a really exciting proposition. Now, what we'd started doing at the Church's Conservation Trust is we always look at how we can find long-term sustainable uses for these fabulous historic buildings that we look after. We've got 347 of them, and we get a couple of more every year. So we need to find a way to make sure that they earn enough money uh, to make sure that we can look after them and make sure we've got the staff on the ground to help care for these buildings and get communities using them. So we thought about um, putting holiday lets in churches. Now everyone's always wanted to have that idea of a grand design of putting their house in a church. Um, we worked on a project to look at whether we could make um, holiday lets in, in some of our churches. Now we worked on the project and we realised that actually there were several things wrong with that proposal. The first one was it costs an extraordinarily large amount of money to make any kind of conversion to a grade one or grade two star historic church. The second point is, actually, these buildings, as I said before, are for everybody, and everybody should come and visit them. So if you start putting private space in them, then you restrict the, the access that everyone has to them. And the third is, it would damage the fabric of the building. It wouldn't be the same thing that you were going to see. So we kind of ditched that project and thought about something else. And then I kind of thought about, how about yurts in churches? That seemed like a good idea, an amusing concept. And I spent ages deciding how I'd get the wood burner flu out, of the, uh, out to the outside and then I thought that would also not be in the spirit of the open building itself. And so we invented champing, the simple combination of linking the word church with camping and make it more sort of basic in what we provide but also provide a much better experience. So champing is this unadulterated experience of really enjoying and appreciating the historic church building with exclusive access so it's yours for the night. Nobody else is going to come in, you get to sleep in it. The best thing is that the carbon footprint of it is tiny. We just take everything in and we move it away again. It's very very simple. So the next day after you've been champing the church is open again for all the public to see and if if someone wants to come in the next night we can set it up and take it away. It's a really simple concept and so far we've had over well around 300 people stay in our churches so far champing and they've had a great time. The feedback has been amazing and people have talked about how they enjoyed being in such a special building and how much they enjoyed it and I'm really happy about that. There's something in this. We've made champing a thing and I want you to enjoy that too. Come and stay. We've got 10 sites at the moment. We hope to put more there. These buildings are each unique. Don't just stay in one of them come and stay in loads of them as well there's loads to do around the, the areas they're very beautiful and there's nothing quite like it so i hope to see you booking your champing site soon uh, get to us champing.co.uk